it's Thursday. So, I just want to start this video off by saying, Happy Birthday, Henry Green. You are one year old. It must be so exciting for you. Um, I congratulate thee on being one year older. I, I know this must be exciting. Uh, yeah, that that is big step in your life, being one. That is wonderful. So as you guys might know or might not know, today is Henry, Henry, Henry Green's birthday. Um, if you don't know who Henry Green is, then I don't know how you don't know. Because if you're watching this, you're probably a nerd fighter, so you obviously know. But if you don't know and you're watching this, then I am concerned. Yeah. Anyway, yesterday was my birthday. So thank you for everybody who wished me a happy birthday on Twitter and on Facebook. So thank you. Um, so religion. Oh, this is what they tell me in school. Oh, breathe and read and live the Bible. I was raised as nothing, like not even an atheist. I was raised as nothing, but they, to my mother, they like pushed religion like down her throat. So um, I was like as raised as a Catholic. Um, we don't really practice it because we really think um, it's kind of stupid, mostly because they contradict each other a lot, like a lot. And oh well, what can you do? Um, we, yeah, just, which makes no sense because I go to a Catholic school, but I go to a Catholic school because it's a better education, especially here in this valley that there's nothing. So am I a losty? I am not. I have never seen Lost. They told me it's good. I've been meaning to watch it, but, uh, I'm like, uh, yeah. The, your other question, Stella, about that YouTuber thing. Nobody's answering it, so I'll answer it for you. Uh, his name is Joss Tom on YouTube. He's not that big, um, but he's really funny. Mm, that's him. Yeah. I, I guess I would date him if he were my age and I were, or I were his age. Yeah. That'd be awkward if you watched this. Yeah. Sorry, Tom. Um, nerdy stuff. Um, does the Big Bang Theory count? I love the Big Bang Theory. Although I haven't watched the new season because I'm waiting to buy it. And somebody just arrived and they're interrupting my video. I'll be right back. I am back. Sorry about that. Where did I stay off? Oh, I really like Maximum Ride, the series, the novel series. They're so good. Oh my god, they're just so amazing. You just, if you haven't read it, go do yourself a favor. Like, that money you saved up, they gave you on Christmas, and just go buy the whole Maximum Ride series. I'm dead serious. It is phenomenal. I mean, I literally cried when I read the last book, the latest book that came out. I'm not sure if they're making another one, but if they are, they should. Okay, I, I recently started reading The Hunger Games. I've been meaning to read it since it first came out, the first one, which was like, I don't know, two years ago. Um, but I didn't. Because when I went to the store, I didn't have money for it. Um, I also am a big, huge fan of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The so name is Bosch. I've said about this in another video. He is um, the author of the Secret series. He is phenomenal in his writing. Have you read? If you read Lemony Snicket's work, it's kind of the same, except PB is more weird and stuff. Um, what three things would I take to the island? Number one, food. Number two, like some sort of power or like the knowledge to generate electricity with the things that will be in the island. Because I really wouldn't want to leave probably. I probably would want to stay in the island. Because that'd be an interesting thing to do. And by being able to generate electricity, I would probably... The third thing that I would have is a TV so that I can watch Doctor Who. Yeah. I haven't seen the movies in like 10,000 years. I don't really remember it. I think the Black Pearl is Jack, Jack Sparrow's. I, I'll just do it because it's his book. If it is. I did put my the picture 
that Stella did on my screensaver. Which I think looks pretty cool. Alright, my mom yesterday, she's a pastry chef, she did a cake for me. She did a TARDIS cake. She did a TARDIS cake. She made me a cake out of a TARDIS. It was so pretty. It wasn't perfect. Um, She got the size a bit wrong. It was more wider than it should have been. But it was just that fact that my mom made it and I and I didn't know about it made it all better. I mean, oh my god, I loved it. And then I, I had shown her the picture to my mom that one Stella did about Made from the Blossom with all of us. And she, I, I explained the bow to her. And then she made a bow, like right on the bottom of my name. Um, uh, and now you'll see the cake.